Ladies and gentlemen, hit subscribe to this channel right now. I'm just repeating what the Washington Post, a very respected publication, is saying about Trump. Trump and allies plot revenge, Justice Department control in second term. Yeah, it's called being a president, like Biden. Apparently, you can go and investigate your direct political rival and not only investigate, indict your direct political rival uh, during a year like 2024 where um, the White House is the ultimate prize. So I guess you could do that now. Of course, they impeached Trump for asking, merely asking. Not, I think it was uh, the most, like, the most reasonable request of a foreign leader. If Biden had committed any crimes or if he was corrupt in any way, and they said, oh my God, this is the end of democracy. We have to impeach Trump. He's trying to interfere. Now they have, what, four indictments against him? All with either a special counsel um, that is linked directly to Biden, in addition to um, district attorneys who are Democrats, who ran on getting Trump. So they campaigned on getting Trump. So this is Trump and allies plot revenge, Justice Department control in the second term. The difference being when he indicts, let's say, Hunter or Joe or others, there is a money trail. It's not going to be a court in New York saying he inflated his net worth based on their interpretation as bureaucrats and civil servants, not as people who work for Deutsche Bank or um, some kind of lending institution lending him money. So there was no bank, not one bank, would back up New York's attempt to um, um, to accuse Trump of inflating his network, a net, net worth and committing fraud. So you'd have to have a victim in a crime. So, but, but that's yet another reason that conviction, so he'll probably be convicted or probably lose the civil trial regarding the fraud case because you have a whole bunch of bureaucrats, people who are Democratic Party partisans. Just because they work for the city doesn't, well, that should prove if, you, if you're working in Tammany Hall going after Trump, you're doing so politically. It has nothing to do with the rule of law. The same would be said if, let's say, you know, Republican prosecutors in Arkansas were going after the Clintons. The, immediately they would say it was partisan. But this is the Washington Post. Advisors have also discussed deploying. Yeah, again, that's nonsense. Um, critics have ideas under consideration that are unconstitutional. Okay, there was one to two billion dollars in property damage all throughout that summer. And I agree with why people demonstrated peacefully. But you have this absurd, this, this, this fantasy world that the wonderful, morally superior liberal Democrats live in, where one day in January that I condemn, terrible day, one day was an example of Trump trying to overthrow the government, which was nothing could be further from the truth than that, okay? It was a terrible day with people who committed criminal acts. There was zero effort to overthrow the government, zero effort to foment a rebellion, and what they're trying to do is say that Trump, um, they're trying to say that Trump, because he, he didn't a agree with the results, tried to overthrow the country. Or, or because his ideas uh, were so reprehensible to the morally superior who uh, Democrats who won, um, they think that his ideas fomented, um, encouraged people to commit crimes. They didn't. OK, they didn't. People commit crimes because of a whole host of reasons. In that case, it was a complete lack of judgment. But hit subscribe to this channel right now. Um, the interesting thing is that what The Washington Post and others do is they create this world where Trump is this madman. And when Biden has a special counsel against Trump or when you have New York prosecutors or prosecutors in Fulton County who are all Democrats going after Trump. It's about the rule of law. It's the rule of law. But if Trump were to indict, let's say, Hunter for obvious graft and bribery schemes, it's a big problem. Okay. Oh my God, you can't do that. And 
so Hunter or Joe, millions upon millions are going into their accounts. Um, there's emails within the laptop where 50 intelligence officials lied through their teeth asking Joe for influence, asking him. Literally, the, the, the New York Post articles verbatim, how can you use your influence on the company's behalf? He's being given money for influence peddling. Okay, it's paid. It's pure graft and bribery. And you have the money trail. You have the emails. It's not rocket science. Okay. Um, and there's endless examples. It's like unbelievable. There's endless examples. With Trump, they try to get him on the most flimsy. Um, they, they just tr they, they they make absurd leaps of logic, and now they're litigating these absurd leaps of logic. But here is an example of the DOJ, even in Trump's when Trump was in the uh, the White House, the DOJ going after Trump. This actually happened before, but DOJ official Bruce Orr resigns from department amid disciplinary review. The Steele dossier nonsense from DOJ officials loyal to the Democratic Party started even before Trump was um, got into the Oval Office. Okay, that was in 2015 and 2016. Okay, when President Obama was in, uh, was president, and there was not a peaceful transition of power. Okay, it was not the the the, the person who stopped the peaceful transfer of power wasn't Trump. With that one day where people were actually let into a building, and there was some chaos and mayhem, which was terrible. But it was that day was nothing compared to every single day that summer that Democrats, for some reason, ignore, which 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 amounted to billions upon billions of dollars in property damage and 19 to 20 lives lost, according to Wikipedia. OK, but anyway, the, the hypocrisy, the duplicity, the disingenuous nature of these absurd political attacks against Trump, you don't have to like him. Okay, but he didn't commit he didn't commit any serious crimes. There's zero evidence just because you he's indicted for political purposes. Read the indictments and they read like a CNN or MSNBC uh, segment. Okay, he didn't mishandle classified data. He was president. On the other hand, millions upon millions were given to Joe and Hunter for influence. So it, it's like. There is a right and a wrong. If Trump had a laptop, I wouldn't be doing these segments. If Trump had a laptop and he actually worked with the Kremlin and he had a laptop showing that people were giving him money and Eric Trump was on the board of directors of a gas a oil and gas company in a country now being invaded under Biden's watch, if you flip the script, I wouldn't be defending Trump because there's infinitely more that Democrats and media are trying to cover up or at least sweep under the rug than with Trump. But they accuse Trump of everything under the sun. They try to get him on uh, obscure legal statutes, and he's indicted four times. You could have indicted Hunter and Joe 30 times or for, thir for 30 different cases pertaining to the graft and bribery because the money trail is there. There's no money trail with Trump. If he was trying to overthrow the government and, and work with the Kremlin, which things he didn't do, where's the money trail? Okay, all of it's made up, and we have the, the Steele dossier here, and it's by, what, DOJ officials also, who helped out. It wasn't by DOJ officials, but these people were just one of many individuals. Here you have the New York uh, Attorney General campaigning to go after Trump. Okay, you have the New York Attorney General campaigning to go after Trump. Okay, this is law.com. James's past promises to probe Trump dealings could be. Okay, so this is, they've been, this is political in nature for a long time. And everyone knows it because Trump has been indicted four different times and he's still up in the polls. And Jimmy Kimmel has sold his soul to the Democratic Party, as have everyone in late night. Almost all of media. And what does that tell you when Trump is still defeating mashed potato brains? What does that tell you? Okay. And when he gets, when he regains the Oval Office, you better believe he's going to go after his political rivals. But they actually committed crimes. There's a difference. Trump didn't commit any crimes. But he's being indicted. 
that happens, unfortunately, in this country. Give me your thoughts below. Hit subscribe right now.